I want to thank you for joining us today. I've got a real special thing to show you back here. Some of you maybe, maybe haven't even seen something like this. This is a uh, vintage midget race car. And uh, when racing started uh, back in the <laughs> 20s and 30s, I should say back in those days, uh, you would see these uh, run these uh, dirt tracks and circle tracks all around the country. Everybody knew they'd have horse races. And uh, when they were through with the horse races, they'd come out and they would actually race these cars. This is a 1938 midget race car. And I'm going to walk around here and show it to you. It's a beautiful, beautiful condition. This particular one is a 1938. And the motor in it is pretty interesting too. A lot of the hot, hot rod guys will understand. This is a Ford Flathead V8 with two deuces. Okay, so the, uh, the Flathead V8 uh, was famous for Ford. And you can kind of see a little bit of it up there. And uh, so this is a 1938 race car with a 1951 Flathead Ford uh, V8. It's got two deuces, which means it has two two-barrel carburetors on it. It's designed to get around the track really fast. It sits on a trailer that's included. You can see up in the front, it's got a box there where you can put some of your tools and things like that. If you look around here, you'll see some of the interesting things. First thing, you'll see alcohol. Not for the driver. These cars ran on, on alcohol. And for many, many years, uh, the Indy cars uh, would run on alcohol and you, you would not see the flames. If there was a fire, you couldn't see it because the alcohol burned so cleanly. You'd see people jumping around and you'd see the heat come off, but you couldn't see it. But uh, they could put that kind of a fire out with water. Now, looking back over here, you can see the exhaust on this. It's the little bumper up front. See the exhaust coming out there. The motor is actually in beautiful shape. It's got all the, uh, the, the wire, all the tubing has been stainless steel uh, wrapped for protection on top. You can see the top of the two uh, uh, carburetors. Uh, right over here, this is how you start it. You take this and you would pump up the pressure for your fuel before you start the engine. Didn't have airbags back then, but they do have a bumper on there. And the driver sits in here you can see uh, the differential down here and uh, where they can shift the gears. Got a few gauges up on the top. Got a little uh, thing here to keep your, uh, your arm or whatever from touching that like they do on a motorcycle because that gets very hot and you can burn yourself. Looking over here, you say, man, what kind of brakes did they have? Well, this one didn't have brakes. It had a brake. And this is what you'd grab when you're, when you're racing. You would grab this with your left hand and pull back and put the brakes on and uh, throw this thing into a, into a turn, and that's how you would brake the thing. Comes with uh, extra wheels. It's got 13 tires and another set of wheels that goes with it. And so uh, this was campaigned in a vintage series. And the fellow said he was finished with it. And so uh, my client uh, bought this car and thought it'd be real interesting, something, uh, something to own. Piece of history here. You can look over and see some of the, uh, the uh, stickers on the side, the windshield that comes with it. It's got a cover that goes over it. So when you're trailering it, you can cover the uh, cockpit there. It's in beautiful, beautiful shape. See, they got protection here so you don't get junk in your exhaust when you're traveling this. So they've got this thing built with the tennis balls to go on there. Looking over here, we also have uh, the driving suits and they're included in this sale as well. He's got his uh, traditional Nomex driving suit there. Got another one next to it. Got the helmet in the back there. So, uh, what you could get is you can have a nice little uh, show here, uh, have a uh, vintage midget race car, runs great, some of the accessories that go with it, uh, the suits, the driving gloves, the helmet, extra parts, belts, oil, those type of things. And uh, 
something that'd be pretty interesting to have. Some of the guys that uh, followed IndyCar and circle track racing can really relate to this, uh, to this setup. You could only imagine having that uh, size car uh, with all the aluminum that's in it and then have a Ford flathead V8 in it, I think it'd be pretty powerful. So thank you very much. I wanna thank you for your time and uh, thanks for letting me show this to you. Hopefully we can find a, a new home for this and uh, we can carry the, uh, the story of the racing midgets on. Thank you very much.